Three years ago, we had a real influx of Freedom Campers in, into our district. This was totally unexpected by us, and uh, we had a real problem. The reason for it was that Taranaki was judged by Lonely Planet as one of the best places in the world to visit, and so we needed to do something. We realised that we couldn't actually ban Freedom Camping from our district, but there were some controls that we could put around it. So what we did is we worked with the community and with the various camping organisations to come up with a solution. We went about and assessed all of the sites where Freedom Camping was taking place. And we came up with some ideas around the number of Freedom Campers that would be allowed, whether the campers were self-contained or not, and a whole lot of other ideas. And we came up with a plan. That was presented to the council and adopted. And it's worked really, really well. Freedom Campers were coming into our eyesight, not knowing where they could camp and the rules and restrictions around each site. This was confusing to them because they were different in each area. So we produced an easy, clear to understand brochure which showed them all the information they required at each site. Because Freedom Camping was such a hot issue, the council decided to review the bylaw after it being in place for one year. This allowed us to review those hotspots that had been created with all our Freedom Campers coming to the district. After listening to community feedback and that of the Freedom Campers, we also took the opportunity to review our signage as that wasn't working as well. Because of all this hard work, complaints to the council has reduced by a staggering 97% over the past two years. One of the other initiatives that came out of this was the idea of having Freedom Camping Ambassadors. So those were just local people who were friendly and helpful and just wanted to help Freedom Campers to do the right thing. And this has worked extremely well. These are people that are not really regulators, but are just more in a helpful frame of mind. And this year, after past years getting lots of concern from our residents, I really haven't had anyone contact me about the problem of Freedom Camping. So really it's been an overwhelming success. 